RV slide outs are used quite often, so that's why good preventative maintenance will stop a lot of headaches in the future, even save you a lot of money. And on this video, I'm gonna show you what we do to make sure our slide outs are maintained properly. We hope you consider subscribing to us, giving a thumbs up and help support our channel. Right after this intro, let's get right to it and I'll show you what we do. Maintaining your rubber seals is extremely important. Not only do they cost a lot of money if you let them go bad, and for pennies on the dollars, what I use is this rubber seal conditioner with the UV protection on it. That way it keeps it moist, alive, and you don't get the dry rot. That alone saves us a lot of money, and I'll show you how I use it. While I'm adding the product to the seal, I'm doing the inner and the outer seal. I'm also doing this seal right here where it butts up when it's closed in. That way no water gets in and I know that the seals are in good condition. I do all sides on the top, on the side, and even on the bottom. This happens to be the dirtiest one out of all of them that I've seen and noticed. So you really want to try to maintain this as much as you possibly can. Make sure to do it just like you do the other ones and do underneath. Also do underneath. Because all the dust lays down here when you're driving or when you're in a park. It gathers up as again as you can see right there. It's very, very dirty underneath here. So you wanna make sure that this stays nice and flexible. And the only way to do that is to clean it up. While conditioning our seals up on top, we have a slide out cover, which helps keeps leaves from going onto the slide out. But that doesn't say no damage can happen to it. So while you're up here, you're able to look underneath, make sure you don't have a bunch of garbage leaves or anything else that could really come along, go inside and hurt your seal and rips, making sure everything is good up here and the caulking is in good condition and where the tape comes and meets it is in good condition. That way you've got no problems where water can get into your slide outs. We also like to make sure our molding is correct, that there's no gaps and it's still sealed up well because when the rain comes down, it comes down and will flow underneath. So you wanna make sure that there's no rips, no tears, no screws, no anything coming out. That is one very big part that I've seen where you get water damage underneath. So making sure that this is in good condition will stop a lot of headaches in the future. It doesn't matter what kind of slide outs you have, whether it be rack and pinion like ours, or if you have Schwintech, cable driven, or hydraulic. Maintaining the gears underneath is extremely important. A good preventative maintenance is gonna save you a tremendous amount of money in the future. What I like to use is this slide out silicone lube. It's a three in one. I'll leave a description down below for both this product and what I use for the seals. What I like about it, it doesn't leave any residue, which means you're not gonna get any dust that will collect on there from driving down the street or even when you're just in the park, no dust is gonna to stick to it, and that way it keeps it going nice and smooth. Now I will leave a description down below for both this and what I use for the seals. When I'm doing my seals and the gears underneath, I like to do it at least three times a year because we do go to a lot of state parks, local parks, that have a lot of dirt roads going to them or in there, even the campsite it could be dirt, soft shell, which creates a lot of dust. What I like to do is just dust it off real quick. Get the dust off of it. Then I'll spray a lot on the top, on the sides, and even underneath. It 
and you just wipe it down. Some people do wipe it down, some people don't. I like to. That way it stays nice and smooth. And as I'm doing it, I'm looking at the teeth to make sure that there's no broken teeth in it and all looks like it's working well. This doesn't show anywhere, so we are looking good here. So see the teeth right here and see that there's no damage to them. While you're underneath, you wanna make sure that your bolts are, are nice and snug. That way it's not going to go up or down on it because that's what keeps your V from being level. So do check on these bolts and make sure that they're nice and tight. Check your wiring, make sure that it's not pinched or getting caught on anything and it's still nice and maintained. That'll save you a lot of trouble in the future. Clean, well, I call it the ram. Bolts are nice and tight, so that way the ram is able to work properly. Check your bottom cover, make sure that there's no rips in it and that it's all in good working order. Again, that way you don't get dust, water, anything coming underneath. It may be on the bottom, but you wanna make sure that this is in good working condition. Also, make sure it's clean. As you can see, it's very simple to maintain your RV slide outs from the seals to the gears to making sure your electric is good, but make sure to look up on top and make sure there is no cuts on your top of the slide outs or underneath. Also thinking of where water can get in is essential. It's a great tip. Make sure that your molding on the bottom is well taken care of like I showed you earlier. Make sure that the top of the roof has no cuts or any debris that are in it. And also underneath, making sure that the undercover is very well maintained. It'll keep your RV slide outs maintained for a very long time. Just check your electric, check your gears, check your gearboxes, check the bolts to make sure it's level and it's not gonna slip down on you. If they're nice and tight, they won't do that. And it'll keep you from having to spend serious money in the future when you don't have to just because of a simple preventative maintenance. This whole thing took me no more than 30 minutes to go through all the seals and underneath the RV. As a matter of fact, I'm probably giving it about 10 minutes longer than it took. So have fun out there. If you liked it, please hit the subscribe button, give us the thumbs up. And as Rose would always say, we'll see you all next time. Bye now.